Today, we're going to talk about the X5 U4 T9 wireless in-ear monitor system. Why? Because hearing my drums makes me smile. All right, today we're going to talk about a relatively new product for me. This is the X5 U4 T9 wireless in-ear monitor system. Now, the X5 U4 has been around for a while. However, they just released the U4 T9 model, which includes a set of earbuds. This makes it a turnkey system so that everything you need to go wireless is in the box. Let's look in the box. We get this great little case. Hey, that's already a win. Drummers love cases. We have the transmitter. We have the receiver. We have a pair of earbuds. And we have a quarter inch to XLR adapter. And finally, a dual USB charging cable. Let's start with the transmitter. This is the part that sends or transmits the signal. Now this transmitter is very, very simple. On the left, you have a switch for aux or line. If you're using the unit with a computer or a different sound source, you would switch this to aux. But if you're using it with a mixer, you would just keep this set to line. So for the most part, you'll keep this switch to line. And on the right, you have your power switch. On the bottom, you have a channel selector. You have six channels to choose from. So if you're getting any interference, just switch to a different channel. Just press the button until you get to the channel you want. Then you take your transmitter and you plug it into the monitor feed. But what's a monitor feed? It's not that complicated. It's actually pretty easy. Let's say you have your standard monitor on stage, a monitor wedge. In the back of it, you're going to find a cable. If you follow that cable all the way back to the mixing console, wherever that cable is plugged into, that is your monitor feed. If you're in a position where an XLR out isn't available, just use the provided adapter. All right, now this is your receiver. It's the part that receives the signal. The receiver. Mm. Now we're learning something. Anyway, this is your receiver. It's the part that clips to your belt. That's why it's often referred to as a belt pack. A lot of crew guys will often refer to it as just a pack. So if your sound engineer was to ask, Almightiest of drum gods, may I inquire whether or not your pack is powered on? This is what they're talking about. Of course, he may also say, Hey drummer, turn your pack on, stupid. That tomato tomato, let us not allow unintentional misunderstandings to yank us down from our cloud of delusion. On the left side, you have your volume knob, and on the right side, your channel selector. Again, you have six channels to choose from. Just press the button until you get to the channel you want. As I mentioned earlier, this unit comes with a pair of earbuds, and I have to say, they're pretty impressive. Most earbuds are junk. Let's just face it, most of them are complete garbage. They sound bad, and they fit bad. They're junk. But I was really surprised at how good these earbuds sound. They also fit really well. You might not think that's a priority, but it is. They come with their own case, which is a nice touch, and they come with three different styles of ear tips. However, the receiver comes with a standard 8-inch plug, so if you happen to own your own custom in-ear molds, they'll plug right in as well. So just plug your earbuds into the 8-inch plug-in, turn the unit on, and you're good to go. Now, one quick note about your receiver. Before you actually power on the receiver, just go on ahead and turn that up as loud as it'll go. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke! No, but seriously, try and get in the habit of always keeping your volume completely down, then power on your receiver, then slowly bring it up to where it's comfortable. Now, there's a lot to like about this setup. Now, I used to have a rack-mountable unit, and it worked fine. However, I do a lot of fly dates, 
So for all of those dates, I would have to go over to the monitor rack. I would have to yank the thing out, you know, take the screws out, disassemble the setup, you know, find the power cables, wrap everything up. It was just a mess. So for the fly dates, I eventually picked up a wired body pack. And it worked fine because I didn't have to mess with everything. However, I really missed being wireless. Don't know if you've ever seen me play, but some folks claim I get a mite enthusiastic when I perform. That their drummer's wired too tight. He needs to find a way to settle himself down. However, with this unit, I get the best of both worlds. Look how small this is, and it's completely organized. It's also nice to not have to worry about batteries. Just plug in the dual USB charging cable, and you're set. It takes about an hour and a half to two and a half hours to get a full charge, and the batteries last around five hours. Now you're going to get about 90 feet of range between the transmitter and the receiver. Now I'm probably a bit extreme. I generally just ask the monitor guy for an extra XLR cable to come from the monitor board right up to the drum riser. Then I just plug the transmitter right into it and just set it down somewhere under a floor tom or something. That way the range is like five or six feet. Well, that's it, guys. It really is that simple. This is a great option for anybody that wants to go wireless or even someone like myself that just wants to make things easy. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you with us. And if you could maybe hit that little like button on your way out, it'd be much appreciated. Now, remember, before you power on your receiver, just go ahead and turn that volume up about as loud as it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, it's a joke! If you follow that cable back to the mixing console, it'll be plugged into a plug. It'll be plugged into a plug. It'll be plugged into a plug. All right, let's move along to the receiver. <laughs> It'd, it'd be a good idea to hold it up. Hold the receiver up. Hold it up so they can see it. Terrible. Terrible. All right. Now this is your... Yeah, a little spit there. I just, <laughs> I just spit right out. I just spit. I just spit for goodness sakes. I need another drink. This is hard work. This is hard work. Ah. Well, hell yes, I know it'll damage their hearing. It's just a little joke. That there drummer's ward too tight. He needs to find a way of calming himself. I spit again.